Muffin, and I'm inviting you to be in my video game! At least, it's the video game I'm in. Other people made it. About me, it's Meta. Wait, Princess Sparkle Muffin, some people might think that this game only has white, straight, cisgender, playable characters, making them outraged! Well, you're not cisgender, Solomon, and you're in the game too! But we haven't even gotten to the gameplay description, and already this is off the rails! I can't believe I'm going to say this, but... Dear God! my wish comes true, Boss Fight Song of Sparkle Muffin will be a comedy-driven, turn-based, JRPG-style PC game with inspirations from The Legend of Zelda, Final Fantasy III, and classic adventure games like Monkey Island and Quest for Glory. So what happens in this game? Stuff like this! <laughs> Responsibility, even tolerance for risque content. And this is why the road to hell got paved with good intentions. Uh, we're supposed to be focusing on the positives here. Oh, come now, Poppet. You'll never meet anyone more inclusive than a succubus. I don't know whether to be outraged by that. Except that is your lived experience. Uh, right. So you, or any character you want to be, can be an NPC, quest giver, or even a sub-boss, immortalized in a video game! Which is kind of like getting a statue. Only, when it turns out someone did something really bad or really mean, video games get remasters! So video games are like immortality with service plan upgrades! Ooh, and a small number of people get to write stories that go in the game. How fun is that? So, here's how the story starts. My nanny, who was my closest confidant growing up, has gone missing. But she left me a magic ring that stops me from ever suffering serious harm. Pretty perfect for a video game character, right? Solves that whole problem of what game deaths mean. I don't die! I just get captured! Again! And again! This seems like a trope against war! It's just a gameplay mechanic designed to create difficulty without breaking immersion. Anyway! I find a group of friends to help rescue my nanny. Actually, I find a group of friends to share pecan pie, but we end up rescuing my nanny. And after that, all these adventures begin with my friends facing their inner demons. Some literally. We succeed together through kindness, friendship, each person's unique and special talents, and magical poop! We don't think too hard about that last part. And if you do, we don't judge. Right! I think. We want this game to be something anyone can learn to play, as long as they have an open mind and can accept people who are, well, different. Different implies normalcy, which is problematic. Right, see? An open mind! I keep trying to make that argument about my wardrobe, but I keep hearing it's inappropriate. <gasps> I don't get it. Anyway, I hope you'll become my newest friend and go on this adventure with me. It'll be fun! But we need you to back this Kickstarter now, okay? So we can include as many different kinds of people as possible, no matter what you look like, who you love, or which allergies your fur triggers. Right! <laughs> oh, bless you. Okay, so in case you aren't totally sure 
You want to be a part of this super fun, super spackly game? Here's one last look at the most exciting early footage we could make for absolutely no money! Hey! Oh, are we kidding? We went into depth to this! Hooray! Wait, what? For all the gameplay, Poppet. Hey!